Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a highly requested one. I'm just gonna talk about the products that I use to grow my hair. I get asked this question so much, and to be honest, because my hair is so long right now, it's not really my focus, but I know exactly what products I would reach for if I was trying to grow my hair, and you guys keep asking, so that is what I'm gonna talk about today. is the length of my hair right now. I'm trying to, if I was to put it straight, it goes down to my waist. To answer a question I know people are gonna have, has my hair always been long? The answer is no. My hair has been long for a lot of my life, but I have had a few breakdowns and cut it into a bob, and it's always grown back, and I know why. I know which products I use when I wanna accelerate my hair growth. I stand by them, I think they're really great products, and I know that they work for me. I am not a scientist or a hairdresser, so obviously take what I say with a pinch of salt. Okay, so if you've ever messaged me on Instagram asking about how I grow my hair, you know what I'm gonna say right now because I say the same product every single time. So this is a hair mask that I swear by. I have sworn by this hair mask for, I reckon I've sworn by this for at least 15 years. I need to put the firm fan down, it's looking aggressive. I'm just like aggressive hair advice. <laughs> So this is the Hair Growth Activation Treatment Mask from Lee Stafford. If you see any of my old videos, I might have mentioned this. I feel like I would have because it works and I've been using it. I probably refer to it as for hair that never grows past a certain length. That's what I thought it was called. I think it's like the slogan. So this hair mask is designed to help with hair growth. It literally says, fertilizes follicles and creates a healthy environment on the scalp to help amplify growth. I really think it does. I don't want to sound like I'm putting like huge claims out there but I would comfortably say that my hair grows twice as fast when I use this when I'm trying to grow my hair I have backups I have backups for my backups my bathroom has like a pile of pink tubs because I just know for me it works but it says it has a pro growth complex now two times the pro growth complex with nutrient rich fruit extracts and natural peptide the hair growth activation treatment works to anchor hair into the follicles at the root and reduce hair fall. So it accelerates your hair growth, strengthens and repairs, reduces breakage, improves volume and texture and moisturizes and calms the scalp. I can hand on my heart say I believe all of that. It is a staple product for me when I'm trying to grow my hair. And even if you used it and it didn't work for growing your hair, your hair will feel like absolute silk and it smells so nice. I've seen a lot of people say that the scent of this reminds them of, I think the name is Thierry Mugler Angel Perfume. I don't know, I don't have it. But if you wanted an idea of scent, that's what people always go back to when I look at reviews of anything from Lee Stafford, because it all smells the same. When I apply this, I put it all over my scalp, I massage it into my scalp, and then I work it down to my roots. Because it is for hair growth, you mainly want it on your I work it down to my ends. I just realized what I said. I put it on my roots, I massage it in, and I work it down to the dead ends of my hair. There we go. That's correct advice. Because it's for hair growth, if you just put it on the ends of your hair, like, hair doesn't grow from the ends of your hair, it grows from your scalp, so massage it in. I think it says to leave it on for five minutes, but never leave a hair mask on for five minutes. I have this on for like an hour and then I'll wash it out. But to be completely honest with you, I would put this on during the day. I would let it completely dry onto my hair. I would go to sleep <laughs> with it still on my hair and I'll wash it out the next morning. I do that with a lot of hair masks because I like to just soak up all the goodness. Basically what I'm saying is don't leave it in for five minutes. Leave it in for at least half an hour. I think this is around or over 10 pounds, but here is the thing with Boots. If you buy this from Boots, I think you can get it on Amazon, and I think in America, it's look fantastic US. I think, obviously I'm gonna put all the links to you down below, but Boots do this offer with Lee Stafford. They've done it my entire life. This, I think this is why like, I first fell in love with the brand, because I love a bargain. So basically, when they have the special offer on, you can get free items from Lee Stafford for 15 pounds. So you can get, three of these and they end up being five pounds each. Because they work, I will happily buy three of them at the same time. I used the offer again two weeks ago buying some shampoo, so it might still be on Boots now. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out and see if it is. Okay, so my next go-to hair growth product 
is this little tiny bottle from The Ordinary. This is called Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density, a concentrated serum for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. So I started using this because I am a ponytail babe. I love a ponytail, especially when I'm in dance classes and stuff. Like obviously I'm not dancing right now because house arrest, but still. I sleep with my hair in a bun, so my hair is always tied right up here. And it causes breakage. Like if you look at the top of my head now, you'll probably see a few like rogue hairs just, they just live there now. I get breakage at the back of my hair down here from pulling up to a ponytail. And I get breakage around the front of my hair where I'm scraping that back too. It is what it is. I mean, I could probably avoid it doing less ponytail realness, but it's a lifestyle. It's who I am, it's what I do. So I'm not gonna do that. So. <laughs> I really wanted to figure out a way to grow out this breakage. I will normally get my little pipette and I've got a little bit in it. Even that is like quite a bit. I will go to my problem area. So just pretend this is my scalp, yeah. I'll like part my hair, do a few little drops, drippity drippity. And I'll just like massage it in. And I will just sit there giving myself a little head massage. I've never found this, like I'm massaging it now and I'm really trying to get a feel for the texture. <laughs> I have never found this made my hair oily, ever. But I must say, my hair will soak up anything. My scalp is pretty well behaved too. I can handle products if they are oily. So if you had thin or fine hair, I really don't know how this would work for you. Can someone test it and let me know? Because that'd be great. <laughs> even now I'm rubbing it in and I just don't even feel oily on the back of my hand. Oh my God, is, is my hair gonna go on my hand? I'm gonna wash it off afterwards. I mean, actually, it's too late. It's too late. I'm gonna look like, oh, I'm gonna turn into a beast. Oh no, okay, whatever, whatever. Let's just put the rest on my head. There we go. <laughs> As I was saying, I have never found this made my scalp oily at all. I feel like it just soaks in and it just does what it needs to do. I have personally noticed that the hair seems to be growing quicker. I think it feels thicker and denser, but with these things like, does it feel thicker and denser because I want it to? Or am I like seeing the things I want to see or feeling the things I want to feel because I know what I'm looking for? Do you know what I mean? I'm not too sure. But undeniably, it has made my hair grow faster. So I actually really like it. It's very simple. They say to do it um, once a day and ideally before bed, which makes sense because if it did make your hair oily, at least like, you know, you're asleep so you can just like wash that out in the morning. But I don't really find it makes my hair oily at all. It feels just like a moisturizer for my scalp. Maybe that's what it is. Honestly, I don't know what a peptide is. The hair mask said it had peptide in too. I've never read the full ingredients to the hair mask, so that was news to me. But I think I like these peptides, you know. They seem to be working for me. I think this is around 14 pounds. I don't remember it being expensive, but this is, I mean, I've had this since last year and we're not even halfway, so it lasts for ages. I guess that would be different if you used it across your entire scalp, but I am just targeting patches that I want to grow quicker because obviously, as you can see, I already have long hair. It's already trying to choke me in the night. I don't really need any more. I just want to even it out, you know? So the last thing I want to touch on is how you wash your hair, how often you wash your hair, and what you use to wash your hair. Now, I stand by this tip. I truly believe that when you wash your hair less, your hair grows way, 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 way quicker, and it's in better condition. So I Googled this, and like the first thing that came up was, <laughs> it was like um, a myth buster, and it was like, there is no scientific evidence to prove that washing your hair less makes it grow faster. But, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I'm gonna stand by this statement. And there's multiple other people I know that would stand by this statement. So, I mean, what's the harm in trying it? If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. When I was a teenager, I remember washing my hair every single day before school. I remember thinking, I can't live like this. Like, I was falling asleep in the shower. I remember falling asleep on the bathroom floor at one point. <laughs> so I was like, at least if I sleep in the bathroom, people think I'm having a shower, I don't know. So I just thought I need to work on washing my hair less. So like throughout my entire life, I purposefully push my hair 
as far as it can go. So, you know, at first that would be, I would get to day three and I'd be a greasy mess. So I would do a ponytail or a bun and I would push it to day four. And then, you know, I got to the point where I could go like four or five days easily without washing my hair and it just wouldn't get greasy because it was used to it. I'm gonna admit, this process definitely takes time. You're not gonna go from, oh, I wash my hair every day to I wash my hair once a week in a month's time. But it does work and I can now, I don't know, I don't even know how often I wash my hair. I actually don't. I want to say I wash it once a week, but I know I don't. I reckon I could go two weeks and my hair would be all right. I, I, the last five days, yeah, it's going to be ponytail and bun city, but I know I could do it. I know I could because it's been years and years of just working my hair and pushing it and pushing it so that it doesn't get as greasy as quickly. And I, throughout this experience, I now know that my hair grows faster now than it ever did when I was washing it every single day. And I'm a firm believer that what shampoo and conditioner you are using definitely has an effect on hair growth. So my top tip is you have to use a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. It is 2021. We should know by now, sulfates are salt. So it's gonna dry out your hair. Dried out hair is going to break and snap and you're not gonna be able to grow it because it's all gonna fall off your head. Having no sulfates, it's beautiful, it's moisturizing, it's great. I just feel like we're at a point now in hair care, in beauty, that everyone knows that sulfate-free is better for your hair, but not everyone knows where to find your sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner and that's absolutely fine too. So I'm gonna give you like a few tips. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. So at the moment, I am using these two. These are Lee Stafford. If you watch my curly hair routine, you, these are the same ones I mentioned, but I bought the bigger bottles because I'm loving it so much. So this is from their For the Love of Curls range. I am going to link a lot of shampoos and conditioners down below though. I'm gonna, I have loads of recommendations from you guys actually, people who DM me on Instagram. So like, thanks guys, because I do really appreciate it and I love having like new things to try. And I, even though I was like, it's 2021, we know better. Even though I said that, I'm fully aware of the fact that it's something that goes in and out of trend. So sometimes it is hard to find a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna make a list for you guys. Trust me when I say a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner, especially shampoo, because that's what you like wash your hair with. It will definitely improve the quality of your hair. Trust me, just try it. Sulfate free is my go-to now. When I switch back, which sometimes I do, because sometimes I'm in Tesco and I've run out of shampoo and I just pick up anything on the shelf because I just don't have the energy <laughs> to like go to another shop. And I definitely feel the difference. It's just not worth it. I always switch back, so I need to take my own advice. I need to lecture myself and stop being lazy sometimes and just go and find what I need. But this, these are my backups. She's prepared this time. She's got her backups. She's good to go. So I think that's everything I wanted to just say quickly. Like I know, I don't think this is gonna be like a hugely like blow your mind video. I don't have any like secrets to hair growth, but these are things that I know work for me. I really hope this was helpful. Comment any other like sulfate free shampoos and conditioners or hair growth products that you love down below so we can all just have like a hair care kiki. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to not buy things from Boots unless they are on special offer and use your Boots card and get your points and just scan Boots. Scan Boots all you can. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.